Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a Flappy Bird style game in Construct 3. So, let's get started. Today I'll be teaching you how to add the jumping mechanic and learning how to make your game look more aesthetic without changing any sprites and just using squares. Lastly, we will learn how to spawn the pipes. So first, what we will do is right click, insert new object, and search for sprite. We will name this sprite our player. You will add a sprite and you can choose any color for now. So I will choose this blue color. I will size it down to the appropriate size. So this seems about right. Go down, scroll to behaviors and add a new behavior. This will be the platform behavior. You will now go down to your behaviors and uncheck the default behaviors. You can also change the settings if you want. Now, you will right click, insert new object, and add the keyboard. Now, you will go to your event sheet, add an event, go to your keyboard, and press on, on key pressed. You will choose a key. I will choose space. Now, I will add an action, go to your player, go down, and choose the set vector Y, and you can choose something like minus 500. Now, if you press play, as you can see, we are jumping. You can also change the vector Y to your um, eye likings, so I will set it at minus 800. This is much better. To add a background, you'll right click, insert new object, and search for a tiled background or sprite. I'll search for a tiled background. I will put, um, make the sprite and choose any random color for now. I will extend this to our viewport size, like so. Right click and set the Z order and set it to the bottom of the layer. Now if you press play, you will see you have a background. But it looks pretty bad and disgusting. So how can we fix that? We can use a color palette in glossback.com or any other color palette site you like. I will choose true side. You can choose any color palette you like, so I will choose this color for our player. So double click, go to our hex code, and paste that in. Now I will tab back and choose a color for our background. So I'll choose this weird blue color and see if it looks good. Oops. Yep, there we go. So. It looks a bit weird, um, so you can do experimenting and get your liking. So I have found something I like and a color palette I like. So I will make sure to go by this color palette whenever I add a sprite. Now we will make the pipes by right clicking, insert new object, and search for a sprite. We will name this our pipes and create the sprite. You will now choose a color that you like from your color palette. So I will choose this pink type of color, go to my construct 3, and paste it in there. I will now create my sprite, and when I've done that, I will size it to a liking, so like this. So we will get, we can get an idea of how our pipes will look like in the game. So I'll put that here, and that's it for now. To make a pipe spawner, you'll add an event, go to system, and search for every x seconds. We will choose a random time here, so search for random, and then parentheses, and choose a time. So I will choose 1 and 2 seconds. I will add an action, go to system, and search for create, create object, click, click object to create, as it says here. So I will choose our pipes, and now it's asking for our x and y position. So I'll click done on that for now and go to our pipe. As you can see, the X position is 2048, so we can type that in. So 2048. And for the Y position, we'll go to our pipe and see that um, the position is minus 82. So we'll go to our event sheet and type minus 82. Now what this will do is spawn the pipe only on the top, but we also need it to spawn on the bottom as well. So we'll go to our event sheet, sheet sorry, 
copy that and paste that. Now we will simply change the Y position to, as you can see, 905. So I will go to my Y and set it to 905. So now if we press play, we'll see that actually nothing is happening. So to fix this, we'll go to our layout and select our sprites. Now we will add our behavior and this will be the bullet behavior. Double click on that and we will set the speed to minus 400. Now if you press play, as you can see that we have now pipe spawning and it works pretty well. Now one problem you must have noticed is that the pipes are only spawning at one position and they're not moving from that. So the, it makes the game really easy. You'll we'll learn how to fix that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Bye!